Up next, Green Strawberry Viper Mark II Photo Etch Set. Hey everybody, it's Kenny Conklin from SciFiAntasy.com and welcome to another YouTube review. Today we're going to be checking out Green Strawberry's PE set for the Mobius 132nd scale Colonial Viper Mark II. It's uh, been sent over to us from Green Strawberry, so we'd like to thank them for sending over the products. This way we can show you what's going on with them. And you can either order directly from Green Strawberry or you can check out HDA Model Works, who carries their line right here in the States. And you can order from them and get your pieces in that you need for your model kit. So first off, before we go anywhere, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's been hitting that subscribe button and the little bell notification. This way you've been seeing all of our videos. We really appreciate it. So enough about that and let's get over to the bench and see what's going on with this kit. So this is the 132nd PE set from Green Strawberry. It comes in a plastic bag with a cardboard backing and the piece inside it. So let's open up the package and see exactly what comes in the whole thing. Okay, in the package comes the cardboard with another cardboard backing to keep it solid. The directions, a piece of film, uh, markings, and your photo etch set. Again, with the photo etch set, like the last one review we did, the PE is not taped down to the cardboard, so you got to be careful taking out of the package because it could bend. Mine got stuck in the cellophane itself, and I had to pull it out. So. Just be careful when you're taking that out. Let's start looking at the pieces now. Okay, the first thing up in the package is the direction sheet, and it takes you through how to bend the PE, what parts go where, the cockpit, and then it goes more into what's in the cockpit. Most of the PE is for the cockpit of the ship. Uh, seat belts, some outer parts, and then for the nose cone and the engines. So it's pretty detailed, tells you exactly where everything goes. So let's see other parts in this package. So the next part up in the kit is actually two parts. One is a version, so if you're not gonna light the kit, you can put the instrumentation behind the PE and it's colored so it makes the inside look a little better. This way you don't have to paint all that other stuff up. And also on this piece comes the uh, remove before flight tags that you can put all over the ship if you're gonna have it in its landing bay. So let's look at the part for the photo etch that if you're gonna light up your ship. Okay, the next part for behind the PE is if you're gonna to decide to light it up, it's the instrumentation panel and it has all the radar and buttons and all sorts of good stuff like that. I know it's hard to see here, but it's all in there and you just cut them out to fit behind the photo etch and you'll be able to light it up and make it look pretty darn good. So let's take a look at the photo etch itself. So let's look at the first piece of PE, or actually the only PE from this set. It has for the canopy with rivet detail to put on the outside of the canopy to make it look better. Seat belt buckles, a couple little rings here, the grill for the nose, um, a little panel. These look like the rings for the remove before flight. You have more seat belt parts over here, a few monitors, the seat belts on the outer edge, a lot of seat belt detail over here. So let's flip this around and see the other half of this kit. So on the second half of the sheet, it has more detail for the outside of the cockpit hatch right here, some instrumentation, nose cone detail, rings for the remove before flight, some piping and stuff for the engines, and it looks like there's two different variants for the cockpit instrumentation panel itself. This one has a rounded instrumentation panel and this one has a more um, like radar screen over here. So you're gonna have two different choices. You gotta pick out which one you wanna use. Some more instrumentation over here for lighting, a couple cockpit pieces, and uh, the little antennas for the back of the wings. So overall, everything is nicely detailed and it's a nice little kit. So that's it for this green strawberry kit. It's very highly detailed. Everything is crisp, especially in the cockpit. So this will definitely add that extra bit of realism to your build. It'll replace those kit parts that don't look so good. And if you're interested in this, like I said before, you can go to their site or you can go to HDA Model Works, which we'll put a link in the description for both of those. And if you have any questions or comments, just drop them in the comments section below. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and the little bell uh, notification icon and come visit us as often as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you all soon. Take care and bye-bye.